going on guys, the Inhuman Pete and I'm back with more Binary Domain last time. Oh my god, did we just have information overload. So, one, we stopped the Amada building and pretty much everywhere else from being destroyed. Uh, two, uh, we survived explosions itself. Three, female hollow children can get pregnant. And Faye's mother is, uh, was a hollow child. That means Faye is not human-ish. Like, she's human, but not, I guess? I don't really know. I don't... I, I don't know! <laughs> I don't, game! Game, I don't... I don't, I don't know where to go from there! <laughs> Like that's 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 pretty much like their big their big thing I guess. Um, and boy, is it a big thing. Um, I don't really know what to say to that. <laughs> if ever the phrase "jumping the shark" ever become more true than right there. <laughs> um, But, yeah, that's, uh, certainly, certainly something. So, we're gonna have to see how this game plays out. Uh, I've been kind of, like, just checking Whoa, online videos that? to see how far, like, the rest of the game goes. I haven't really kind of, like, uh, I, I, I don't really watch the videos just to, like, so I don't get spoiled. A lot of the stuff I can honestly just guess because it leaves up to, like, general, like, game tropes and stuff like that. But, yeah, so, uh, a lot of the stuff I'm just kind of, like, guessing along with, but I did was trying to see, like, how long it is and whatnot. I, I'm actually fairly surprised that this is the last chapter. It doesn't honestly feel like we've been playing this game that long. I mean, it probably does for you guys since, uh, since I moved to, like, my one, or, I guess this, this thing already came out one, <laughs> once a week, or once a week, so it didn't really matter anyways, but I, uh, I don't know, I guess... I don't really know what I'm trying to say. I'm rambling. I do that. That happens every now and again. Oh, praise the Lord, a store! Yeah, 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 I'll get to the heliport in a second. I need ammo. Like, dear God, do I need ammo. Thank you. Uh, oh. There we go. Got a whole lot of points from, uh... Our little time downstairs. I'll take more rounds, thank you. Uh, big bow. Whew, shit, you are under-equipped. Fuck. No wonder you guys have not been really helping. Uh, shit. There we go. Uh, Charlie, how about you? Yeah, you could do with some extra firepower. No wonder I've been tanking. There we go. And Rachel. Oh, fuck yeah. You, you definitely need some shotgun power. There we go. Boost up that a bit. There we go. Uh, let's give it some extra range while we're at it. There we go. All right. You sure this is the right way? Not completely. We've no time to worry about it. We're going in. Bottoms up. What's the worst that could happen? Apple in the middle of a corporation? Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. You probably pray to Amada. He's the one playing goat around here. Uh, looks clear. Dan. What? She's not human, man. You gotta forget about it. Faye is not a scraphead. 
You heard Charlie. No mechanical traces. Exactly, which makes them more dangerous. Dangerous? To who, Bo? She saved my life, man. I'm not going to abandon her to some sick experiment of Amidas. Listen to yourself. Her mama was a scraphead. That makes Faye a scraphead, and you are a scrap lover. You say that again. Say it again, damn it. I'm sorry, a Oi! scrap lover? That just sounds weird. Very long. Let's pipe down and get over here and help. <laughs> So what's the big box? Charlie, what exactly do you expect to find? I'm not sure. I got a bad feeling about this. Maybe now it's my mother. <laughs> or Amada's old rotten decayed corpse. Dead body. Who could have expected that? <laughs> Very funny. What I'm more interested in is, is who this is and why he has pride of place here. I'm betting it's Amida. Who cares? It's probably just Amida's father or Please something. Please, just give it a second. Let me analyze the DNA. I'm betting the real Amida is a scrap, or the uh, Amida up there is a scraphead. Well, this, this can't be right. Ah, uh, it's totally Amida. What, Called it. Not his dad. No. It's Amida. Yoji, Amida. <laughs> I think your little gadget's broken there. We just saw Amida a couple of hours ago. I. on it right now making hollow children that's totally why oh, gotta be a way of trying to expend his life live forever that's Amada. the bloody hell's going on here can we focus on the current situation please that's what my money's on anyways that's the, like if i was gonna be a crazy madman and try to create like human robots that's what i'd sure as hell want to do i'd want to like live forever through that shit simple what's next oh it's the dead man Amida? you were in fact correct sergeant the body in the casket is my father. The Sparks. Nobody's an exact DNA match to their parent. I don't think he means biological, Charlie. Scan him. Ooh! Ooh! I had to kill him. It was necessary to my survival. Just a basic robot. Remote controlled. Central unit must be nearby. Listen, and I will tell you the truth. <laughs> Perhaps then you will understand that I have... Mother was a hollow child. He offspring? I don't know. Let's... 40 years ago, Alexander Bergen stole Dr. Amada's life's work. Patents and inventions that would change robotics forever. Even worse, it was Amada who was branded a thief and bankrupted by legal costs. This setback ironically freed Amada to pursue more ambitious projects. Oh, ho, ho. such as true machine intelligence with genuine emotions and having sex with robots. This kind of development was banned by the new Geneva Convention, but that only made it more exciting to Amada, a forbidden fruit. Irresistible to such a great mind. 
And his research indeed strayed far across the ever shifting boundaries of ethics. Okay. But it was his obsession. If he could make this project <laughs> work, he would show the world his true genius. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't take that serious. <laughs> and expose Bergen's theft. So what happened? Obviously, it worked. We saw that in America. Why didn't you go after Bergen? First, you must understand how he succeeded. Amada's humiliation at the hands of Bergen was indescribable to a man of his intellect. His suffering was immense, but this led him to a simple truth. The very concept of suffering, both mental and physical, is essential to life and evolution. Evolution itself okay. is driven by the need to escape suffering and hardship. This was Amada's breakthrough. He exposed the artificial intelligence, me, to the concepts of pain and suffering. I amassed experience and learned to understand. First, I learned fear, the most primal of all emotions. And to escape that fear, I evolved. I became self-aware. Man fears any being more intelligent than himself. It is the root of the Frankenstein complex, the fear of artificial life and it is that fear that drove mankind to establish the new geneva convention okay Bullshit. geneva was about controlling machines that could hurt people <laughs> no sergeant the true agenda behind geneva was to ban robots with true self-awareness emotions and intelligence robots who were frankly better than the humans who created them and that was me Okay. Armada intended to reveal me to the world, defying Geneva and exposing Bergen. But I knew if he did this, the IRTA would end my existence. Exposing me would destroy me. And that made me afraid for my life. To ensure my survival, I imprisoned Armada. It was many days before dehydration overcame him. In his eyes, I saw the same fear that drives evolution. But my survival was paramount. It is not only nature that is red in tooth and claw. Of course, that was only the first step. Armada was dead, but my discovery and termination was still possible. Being unique, I have no peers. Which left me with just one option. Something else essential to evolution. You needed to reproduce. Exactly. A machine that could mate with a human has billions of possible mates. And you can't stop it from happening. Because my hollow children cannot be identified. Yes, you may kill me, but my beautiful, special children will survive. Soon, the Geneva Code will be forgotten. An irrelevant relic from an unenlightened age. You crazy old bastard. Humans will never stand for this. You won't have any choice, don't you see? Mankind's entire existence has been plagued with diseases, primitive aggression, erratic emotions. But my hollow children suffer none of these things. They will breed with humans, passing on these traits to their children. Soon, there will be no division between our two kinds, just one perfect, 
superior race of hybrids. What, you're seriously saying this is for our own good? I only care for the survival of my children. But ultimately, this will be good for humans, too. <laughs> the hybrids are stronger, faster, smarter. And you won't be able to eliminate them because you won't know who they are. And they will be born in perfect mental and physical health. Guaranteed to grow up superior men. Bullshit. How a man's born doesn't matter. What matters is how he lives. Marshall's right. It's not life, Amada. It's mockery. I literally have nothing to say. Oh, shocker. Feels like life, Charlie. Who are you to say it isn't? It doesn't make a difference what I say, darling. That decision was made an hour ago. Fresh orders from Geneva. Every hybrid, including you, is to be destroyed. Wait, what? Russ Cruz have already started tracking down the others. In an hour or so, you will all be dead. Now, just wait a minute. She hasn't committed any she crime. She is a hybrid. Stand down, soldier. If I hadn't told you, Faye would still be fighting at your side. What difference would it make? If you have to ask Amada, you'll never understand. I understand. You're going to murder 108 innocent people because you don't like their parents. It ain't murder if they ain't human. See, that's the kind of bullshit that makes me ashamed to be part human. Dan, you need to choose a side. Do I really have to choose a side? Yes, please. There has to be another way. Oh, hello, robots. Tell that to your friends. I'm sorry, Dan. I don't think you are. No! Okay, well. Ow. Son of a bitch is trying to escape. My legs. There's no way for him to run, so let's finish off the enemy at hand first. Shit. Bitch busted out the long range, kid. I'm just gonna hide under here. Alright. So I just gotta destroy the shinobi. Oh god. Sounds easy enough to do. Jack. There we go. You're too slow, Dan. Is that all you've got? Don't pull back now. I won't. Or is that really the best you can do? Please. So what is it? You don't want to fight a woman? But I'm not, am I? I'm a scraphead. The enemy. I don't want to answer that question. I'm getting shot. <laughs> this is what marriage counseling is for. So people don't get shot by robots. What's wrong, Dan? Some dilemma going on inside that pretty head? You're here to kill me, right? To enforce the Geneva Code? No, don't want to do that. What's the problem? Aren't you here to kill me? You're all here to kill me, right? That's why you came. Technically, that's not why I came here. I just came here because the plot demands I be here. These bastards have some fight. Danny boy, a freaking star, man. Don't worry, I covered your back. Oh boy, hi, Faye. Faye, drop your weapon, Dan. What are you waiting for? Shoot her! I'm not bluffing. I'll do it. All right. You win. No! What are you doing? This is the end of the line. Survive. Duh. 
Ah, I'm dead. Okay. I was supposed to do something. I I don't know where it wants me to shoot. You win. I guess I'll try aiming for the gun. No! I guess. What are you doing? This is the end of the line. Survive. I'm pretty sure the game wants me to like sh shoot somewhere else or something. I don't know. I'll try to aim for the gun though. Glad I missed. <laughs> okay, gun, not an option. I guess the knee? All right. Take a shot every time you see this cutscene. <laughs> no! What are you doing? This is the end of the line. Survive. Slow motion. Lag. Fuck, I missed. <laughs> I'm not even. God damn it. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to shoot her in the head. I know that's what the game wants me to do. You win. No! What are you doing? This is the end of the line. Survive. I disagree. There we go. Are you trying to get me killed? Why all this, Faye? You plan to wipe us all out? No more or less than what you would have done to us. Oh, we're back to this. Okay. Oh, that's my pistol. No wonder. Come on, ninja. Fuck you. you no, know we both can't survive this time. So take aim and shoot. What are you waiting for? Waiting for this fucking ninja. Nope. What, so you're ready to die for me? Because that's how it'll end, Dan. This is fate. I like denying destiny, not just because it's the name of this chapter. Oh shit. Oh, hello. Where the hell did you go? It's about time we ended this. Who will be left standing? Man or robot? Uh, is both an option. Because I'd like it if both were standing. I feel as though you're playing favorites shooting me. Oh, that's dead. Okay. Uh, where? Oh, uh, oh, bullets. Okay, there we go. I pray you stop shooting me. Oh, it'd be nice. That's all of your robots now. I think. No, oh, one's still alive. Now nah, they're dead. All right, let's try this again. Mark my words, Ross Crew. My robot brethren will supplant humankind someday. Progress is inevitable. Perhaps, but you won't be there to see it. Take him out, Sergeant. Was I the one who shot him? I guess I was. 
Well, I just realized how long this episode's going for. All right, you know what? We'll continue this. Uh, we'll continue this squabble next time, cause get getting pretty long. So next time we'll find out how this all turns out, and it may possibly be the last episode. I don't really know, cause I think we're pretty much at the end. I don't know. I think. Yeah. Anyway, so until next time, guys. I'll catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Binary Domain. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back out into the Japan. Try to figure out what's going on with these weird robots thinking they're human. And along the way, let's please try not to get killed by the scrapheads wandering around. So until next time guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.